Good morning, gang. Happy Saturday morning. Okay. Been a busy week around here, uh, and it's just going to get busier today. You know, all the time we hear, see, read, whatever, comments from people, whether it's below news articles and comments or comments in YouTube, videos on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is about people complaining about what's going on in their community, their city, their state, the country, the world. But did you notice how many people don't do anything about it? Okay. It's, I'm just a little guy. I, 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 you know, I'm not important. Bullshit. You're just as important as anybody else. You're just as important as your city mayor or the governor or a congressman or the president. You put your pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else does. Okay? You are just as important. This is just, just as much your country as it is theirs. You read comments all the time about these keyboard warriors, you know, we need to do this. I always, my favorite one, you know, is like, oh, we just need to get it on already. You know, asking to have some sort of war in this country because, you know, those are the people that you you really, you know, are really sane up here. Okay. Sure. If some moron ever starts a war, I'll be damn sure to uh, defend myself, but I'm not going to be the one to go out and start a war, at least not with lethal consequences. I mentioned earlier this week that uh, they had the uh, county commissioners meeting here where I am, and I was there uh, along with about 200 other people in my town, which was good. We saw about 200 people in there. The town has a population of about 1,900 people. So, yeah, okay. 10% of the community could actually take an hour out of their life to <clears throat> at least be informed as to what's going on, right? Okay. We talked about crucial issues around here. I mean, one they talked about that some people are for, some people are against me, okay? Uh, they want to build a bridge where I am to connect another community with ours. Of course, the other community is one of the biggest drug communities in the state of Tennessee. Those of us where the bridge would be, the bridge, if they built it, would literally be a quarter of a mile from my house. Okay. No, I don't want to give access to a criminal element to my house. Gee, I'm sorry, you want to come over here now and it takes you 45 minutes to drive all the way around? Good. I don't want to give you two minutes to get here where all by, you know, now I'm worried about drugs in our community or I'm worried about crime going up, theft, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Yeah, wanted to get involved in that. They want to talk about zoning here in my community. Some people are pro zoning. We actually had one more on there who thought it'd be a good idea to incorporate because yeah, we the last thing we need in my opinion is more government. Okay? Right now we're unincorporated. We don't have a city government, okay, town government. Good. We don't need another layer of government, which would just mean more bureaucracy and these, those guys got to get paid too, so that would be more taxes to pay those people. Right? I mean, my area is completely unzoned, and <clears throat> it's a lot of agriculture, raising cows, growing food, whatever, you know, farms. And people are, well, we want to keep it the way it is. Yeah, I do too. And the fact that we're unzoned means, well, business can move in and there's nothing they can do. I agree. But there's also a bunch of people here who run businesses out of their homes and that's okay you know we want to keep the country charm of what we have 
So yes, getting involved, finding out what's going on, making your voice heard in local politics, local issues, because if you don't, then you are just listening to whatever everybody else says, and you have no choice but to go with it. Go in there, get vocal, disagree. You'd be amazed how many people, when you disagree, all of a sudden are agreeing with you, you know, that have suddenly found their voice, and now there's two sides. It's amazing when things want to go through and people get petitions signed. I've got this petition with a whole bunch of people signed. You know, where's the petition for the other side? Oh, we didn't do one of those. Great. So you're only getting half, you know, the information that supports what you want. So today I have a community council meeting, which is just the people immediately around me. And yeah, I'm running to be on the board. Why? Because I'm learning really quick that the best way to defeat the lunatic liberalism that's infecting all levels of our government, if you will, is to beat them from the inside. To be in there so when they come up and say, we want to do this, there's a voice that before it ever goes to vote is saying no. When they want to do something stupid, there's a voice that says no. I mean, and there's a lot of stupid decisions that are made around here, or have been. They've been changing uh, in the last year, which is good. But for the four or five years prior that, it, that we were here, I've seen some of the dumbest things ever done in a community you know complete waste of money complete poor decisions hiding the information from the community spending money that they have no right to spend making just idiotic choices that affect everybody so my choice now is to go basically be a trojan horse beat them from the inside so that those choices can never be made. And even if I'm the only outsider in there, I can also be the whistleblower and tell everybody else, well, you know what? I lost six to one. They all want to, I don't know, make Sunday community naked day, being silly here. And uh, it's going to be mandatory that everybody walk around in their bikinis or whatever on Sundays. No. And I got outvoted, so they're going to make that mandatory. And I can go tell everybody in the community rather than them just coming up and going, effective immediately, this is going to happen. No. I can go tell everybody and say, this is what your idiotic board was doing. And so I thought you wanted to be aware. Getting involved means time, means effort, means work. Okay. Fortunately, I've got time and have no problem putting in effort or putting in work in anything I do. More people need to get involved. Standing on the sidelines and bitching, being a Monday morning quarterback, going even just going to meetings and taking notes, is a waste of time. Getting involved is the only way that you're going to change what is out there. Where you're going to be the thorn in the side to all these liberals who think they have a inherent right to make decisions for everybody else. You know, again, take a look at any level of government. I mean, go all the way down to your community, your apartment complex, whatever, your HOA, look at it. And the people in there making the decisions. I mean, I still go back, there was a commercial, I forget who it was, it was a few years ago, but I just remember the woman with the chainsaw standing in front of the mailbox and telling the guy, your mailbox is two inches too high and cutting down the guy's mailbox. 
there's actually groups like that. I mean, you know, you look at places, your lawn's too high. You need, you know, getting a notice on your door that, gee, you need to mow your lawn. Your lawn is too high. Can you imagine walking around? I mean, there's actually people that do this. Walking around with a ruler, sticking at people's grass and going, your grass is too high. Well, gee, I'm sorry. It rained for the last four days. You can't mow the lawn in the rain, you know, whatever it would be. But you live in your community. Chances are you are tight in your community. You live there because you want to. I get there's some people that live where they do because they have to. They can't get out. Okay. But if you want to keep it what it is or improve it, you need to get rid of the bad decision makers that are running your community, your city, your town, your county, your, your state your congressman, your president. You need to get involved. Maybe it's an hour a week that you need to do it. Maybe it's 20 hours a week. Maybe it takes a lot of time. You know. But if you don't do it, then you are just resigning yourself to, well, whatever they tell me to do, I guess I'll do. Until it comes to a point where you have no voice. Stand up. Get involved. Do something to get our country back. We can't put all our hopes in Donald Trump and the small group of MAGA congressmen that we have to make America great again. It's up to all of us to do it. It's going to take work. Somebody got to do it. Are you up for the challenge? Because I am. Pinball out.